All right, today I'm going to show you guys how to measure up an InchCon tilt rotator, more specifically an EC209 model. Uh, we have one installed here in our office in Westminster on a, a mini excavator. It's actually a Cat 308. Um, so we're assuming we've already measured up the machine. We already got our bucket dimensions in there. It's actually under attachments. But under that attachment, we have a bucket for the InchCon. Um, at the bottom of that attachment, there is an option for um, edit tilt rotator parameters. When you hit that checkbox, you're going to get a whole list of new menus to go through, for, specifically for the tilt rotator. Um, and it's important to keep in mind that once you start those measurements, you cannot exit um, without saving. So um, the first step in that is actually to zero the rotation of the tilt rotator. Um, and all these measurements and everything are predicated on the position of the bucket. So uh, a big thing to keep in mind is once you start going through these menus, is you can't come back and revisit them. So um, have all your tools ready. The way we did it was with um, a square, a level, and a plumb bob, and a tape measure. So if you have those four items, a square, a level, plumb bob, and a tape measure, you should be able to do this tilt rotator measure up no problem. The first thing that it's going to ask you to do is actually zero the rotation. So we just took a tape measure. Um, the bucket rotates about this member, so we took a tape measure and measured equidistance on both sides until we got it zeroed out or get it got it to match. And then at that point, we go in there and actually hit zero rotation, and it gets that reading of the rotation sensor. The next step after you zero rotation is going to ask you to get your G to KR measurement. So G, as we all know, is the bucket pin, and your KR is the front face of your your tilting plane so a thing to keep in mind is even though this is your tilt axis pin we want to measure back from your bucket pin to this front face plate right so to get this accurate measurement the first thing you're going to have to do is level this tilt axis so there's a lot of members on on these tilt rotators that you could go to this is kind of hard to do but what we did is we took we found a, a pretty flat plane here, down here on the, the larger member, um, and threw a level on that to actually level this, this tilting pin. You could, in theory, shoot maybe both pins with a total station and, and, and level it and keep shooting until you had it level, but we just did it with a, a small little smart level. So now to get the distance between G and KR, which the software asked you for, all I simply did was put a level here just so I know I'm pulling my tape over straight from this front face plate. And then I came over to the string line. Over to the string line. And I measured 58 millimeters. So I will plug a .058 into the software for our G to K on. Um, the next thing the software is going to ask you to do is basically ask you how your uh, tilt sensor is mounted. Um, so it's kind of hard to see, but these 209s, you can actually really tuck um, the GS sensor up in here. So we actually have it flat on its um, base. So we're going to put uh, flat on base, I think, in the software. And then it's going to ask you the direction um, that the sensor is facing. So in this case, it's going to be across the attachment. You can see we have our plug here. So it's, it's basically running this way. So there's two questions in the software that will answer flat on base and across the attachment for this setup. Okay, the next thing that uh, this Earthwork software is gonna ask you to do is measure the offset from the center mark of the tilt sensor, which is um, ST, which is the center dimple of the GS sensor. Um, the thing to keep in mind is that thing is dead center on the housing. So what I did, because that center is so hard to get to and you're not going to see that center dimple, is we know the distance from that dimple to the outside of the housing is the same on both sides. So what I did is I, I put a tape to the outside of the housing on this side and measured a distance out to here. And then I took the same mark of this tilt rotator attachment and I went to the other side and measured from the outside of the housing on this side of the sensor to this, and then I took the difference. So it so happened that we actually got lucky and mounted that sensor dead center. So I had 
basically 65 millimeters this way, 65 millimeters this way to the same point on the tilt rotator. Um, so that difference is zero. So we're really fortunate because our, our uh, tilt sensor is actually dead center of this tilt axis pin. What we're gonna get is basically from the top of the sensor to the center line of this plumb bob. So what we're gonna do is basically drop a plumb bob from pin G down and curl the bucket until you got a straight line between the bucket tooth and uh, the bucket pin. Once you get that nice and plumb and square, you, you can either do this with a uh, square or a level, but you're gonna take that to the top of the sensor and we're gonna level this out and then we're gonna measure over to this string line. Um, so we're gonna get approximately 15 and a half centimeters okay so we got our ST to M we just did right from the the tilt at, uh, sensor to this uh, line between G and J so now that's the horizontal component now it's asking for the vertical right so from the bucket tooth up to our end point so you're, you're not going to be able to do this by yourself if you're on the field. You're going to need a couple pair of hands to do this one. But what we did is we, we took this level with the top face of the sensor back here, put it in basically in the same location as we did to get our ST to M. We brought this out and leveled it. And then you got to have a partner basically take a tape measure from this top face of the level because that's matching the top face of the sensor. And once this is level, put the tape measure on top of this and drop it straight in line with your plumb bob to get to your bucket tooth measurement. Uh, so it's going to be kind of hard to show by myself in the video, but if you had a partner with you, you, he would be holding this, this level, level with the top face of the sensor, dead center, and we'll level this, and then we drop a tape from the top of this down to the bucket tooth. And right, so the next step measuring this tilt rotator is it asks us to level the tilt axis. Again, this is kind of tricky, right? With all the things that are going on here, but we, we found that this fixed member by putting a square on here is pretty square to the tilt axis. So we leveled this and we actually took a reading in the software and that gets a sensor reading. And then we level the, the bucket tooth side to side. Um, so we can put a level down on the bucket tooth or up here, um, got this level and then we hit um, begin reading again to get another sensor value. So the thing to keep in mind too is if you exit out of this tilt attachment measure up screen, you're going to have to get new readings for everything. Um, and you're going to have to do them in order because the software is expecting you to get sensor values based on these dimensions in order. So uh, rule of thumb, if you start this tilt rotator measure up, don't exit without saving or getting all the way through it. There is we, need it. we want to know the distance between our J, which is our bucket tooth, to our tilt axis center, which is, I think, K in the software. So we've already leveled our tilt axis, um, and we just want to know this vertical distance. So with this level, we just want to extend this axis out, and then we'll pull a plumb bob up. So I'm going to simulate what we did. Obviously, I had help. I had two hands when we did this initially. Um, but I put a square on the dead center of the tilt axis. And I don't have a lot of surface here to square the square. So what I actually did is put a level on top of the square and we'll level this out. And then from this position, we basically measured uh, vertically with a plumb bob and a tape from the bucket tooth to the top edge of our square. And that's the value that we'll enter for our J to K measurement. So then the last piece of the tilt act, uh, rotator measure up is just basically raise the left blade tip to get orientation on the sensor and then hit begin reading. So we'll go in and, and do that now. Um, but like I said earlier, that should be the last step in this and then at that point you can hit save the attachment. But at no point can you exit out of the tilt rotator and then jump back into it. So. Make sure that when you guys jump into the tilt rotator measure up that you, you complete it.